Um, so let me kind of explain what we're going to do. I need a volunteer. I'll do it. Right on. <laughs> 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 Okay, so a lot of you guys are, I'm going to have quite a few of you guys come up and do this with me. Maybe not all of you will get you to do it today, but there's something that you can practice with full doodles or you can just use your finger and say, this is the next thing that works. <laughs> right, but I want everyone to get a chance to do this. So first thing I want you to understand is distance management, okay? So in order for me to hit you, I must be close enough to hit you. These are phone sticks. Oh, okay. Okay. Did you still hurt? I got that. All right. Uh, so I have to move to you in order to hit you. So if I swing at you, back up, uh, you don't get hit. Yeah. Right? But this, this is a problem, though, because you can't hit me. Because I'm out of range of you, so you're out of range of me. But it's not actually true. You can't hit me. Let's take a look at this. And when I swing at you, I want you to use a backhand to hit my wrist. Okay. okay, hit. Now, this, pretty hard. Hit. Yeah, good. Okay, so I want you to back up, and when you back up, hit the hand that's coming at you. Back up. Yes. Good. If I come this way, right. Good. Now, come in the middle. To give you space to move. Okay. So when I try to hit you, retreat, slap the shit out. Hit. Right. Yeah. Good. 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 Hit. Boom. Good. I try to stab you. Boom! That's right. Good. Hit. Boom! Again. Boom! Good. One more time. Boom! Very good. So what happens here? Well, I'm trying to hit her. And anyone who has a weapon who lacks training is going to try to hit your center mass, your head, your body. But she is instead attacking the tool that is holding the weapon. Right? Now these are foam sticks. Okay? You take the same game, and you get these in there. Now, the best way to tell if a knife is fake is like this. <laughs> so we'll start, off, we'll start off slow. Okay. I'm okay. Okay. So, so sorry if I did you not the arm. That's okay. What I want you to do, point that knife at my hand like it's a flashlight. Wherever this goes, shine the flashlight on my hand. Good. Okay, when I come to cut you, you back up. Back up. Good. Now cut the hand as you back up. Come over here. You got this. Okay. You got it. Okay. Boom. Hit. I want to hear. I want to hit. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Okay. Boom. There it is. Good. Boom. Good. Sorry. Boom. Now, she just won like eight night fights. What happens when the hand is cut is you're, is you're actually attacking the tendons that control the grip. So relax your hand. If I pull on these tendons, watch your fingers. So when I cut those, it actually prevents them from being able to hold onto the knife. Okay? Now, this, if I have a knife, you don't have a knife, get something in your hand. A book, a shoe, an umbrella. Put something in your hand and hit. Okay? Because the fact is I could have a knife and you can have a longer weapon. Say this is an umbrella. Okay, same thing. Put it on your shoulder and just whack the crap out of this when I try to hit you. Boom. Yeah, good. Boom, good. Again, shoot, good. Again, boom, nice, good. This is the concept. We call this defame the snake. If they cannot reach you, they cannot hurt you, and your target changes. Who else wants to try? Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Come on, Mary. Hi there everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd be interested in having us come to your location for a special event or to teach a seminar, all the information you need to get that started is in the description box down below. You can also give us a call at our phone number, 317-373-8086, or contact us through our website, theschoolofselfdefense.com. I look forward to training with you in the future, but until then, fight on.